Yeah, we've been talking for five ever. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking for three minutes and 53 seconds. Four minutes for me now. Three minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes and 59 Anyways. seconds. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank God I'm flat. <laughs> okay. But yeah, welcome back, Basic Chat episode. What is this, eight? Big comic tacky. It's eight. I call it trip. Anyways, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is episode nine. Nine. <laughs> You're always an episode behind, girl. I Catch am. Up. I be forgetting. Why are you watching the basic chat? You should because be, I lived you it. You should have our notifications on. I lived on. it. I lived it. <laughs> you should have our notifications on. I lived it in you real should, time. You uh, should be subscribed to all the social media. Anyways. Today, we're talking about a little bit of a different topic because in recent events... Messy. Um, <laughs> it's not... It's not necessarily messy. Not for it's us. just y'all, y'all <laughs> acting crazy in the comments. So obviously we gotta talk about it. Yeah. Um, so as you probably have seen, um, <laughs> we're not saying Nett and James are over, but right now it's definitely a hiatus type of shit. Be on a little posy pause. A little posy pause. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, recently, uh, James um, backed out of what's the name of the series? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm keeping that in too. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, he recently backed out of their their up and coming series. You see how I say that? Yeah. You see? <laughs> you ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. Yes, I did. But y'all are um, being love. <laughs> Love Upon a Time series. That's it, it's yes. The, the series he backed out of. Yes. And there are a lot of, there's a lot of speculation on why he backed out, which I think it's obvious because he's definitely voiced about why he backed out. Yeah. But I do think there is another reason that people are overlooking. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact that boy, my boy fell down the stairs. I was gonna say because somebody mentioned that they were like he just got hurt, y'all. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he got hurt. Yeah. But also, you know, sometimes, sometimes the universe has to, you know, put you in a place to think. And maybe this allowed him to think about like, you know, maybe I want to pursue my like art career. Yeah, I want to do something you know, else. I want to do something else. Yeah. But. That brings us to like our first point. It's like these ships are not forever. We try to tell y'all, it's just pretend. Yeah, it's just I told pretend. you. We're, we're the reality it's, check podcast. It's imaginary. Like, unless somebody specifically says, like, it's for yeah. real, it's real, it's tea, just know that it's temporary. Just no. It's obvious. It's obvious that sometimes there are underlying things and people don't want to say certain things. But you should not project what you think you know onto them because Oh, hold on. <laughs> Y'all, her cat. Her cat love to bring intermissions. Love. Cat. Look. <laughs> Look at her over there looking back like I ain't doing nothing. No, y'all, when I opened the door, she looked at me like you better <laughs> You better open this door. Ciao. But I think we shouldn't project what we think somebody's relationship is because we don't know nothing. We you honestly don't know nothing. What you no. think you know, you don't. You still so, don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so the the comments and how people kind of went in on James did not pass the vibe check. Oh my all. god. It's crazy because like I just don't understand like why like what what is the point? Like what what do we get out of 
berating right. somebody just because they told us like I want to go a different way. I want to I want to go a different path. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to go a different path. <laughs> and I see people like saying something about oh he's just using y'all love to that is like industry. people's favorite word using <laughs> they're saying that he is using the BL industry yeah and I just want y'all to just put your <laughs> critical thinking hats on for just like two seconds just two seconds it don't even take that long two seconds mm. When s- someone is an artist, right? Yeah. And whether it be an artist in the music area, whether it be an artist in, you know, acting, whether it be an artist with actual, like, drawing yeah. or, like, you know, art, being a creative doesn't put you in a box into one thing. So these people, just because they're acting doesn't mean that's their... They all what they want their act. life work be. Yeah. <laughs> Because I feel like people don't look at what all of these people are doing outside. Yeah. If you look at any Thai actor, just pick a random Thai actor <laughs> out the box. I guarantee you'll probably see that they have a degree, a side business, own a family business. Like, we literally they... went down the line with Mew and Tool. Like, we, right. we already went over this. Like, they all right. have something else going on outside of this. But then also, when you think about it, anybody that's trying to elevate or whatever, there is there is some sort of, like, I don't want to use the word clout that comes out of it. Because that's not I a good term. Clout but, comes from everything. Yeah. If, if, if you have an audience <laughs> and people are watching you yeah. for you, there's clout involved. Yeah, you're there's gonna clout, even right. Even if you don't even do BL yeah. and you're just acting, there's clout involved. Yeah, everything has clout. There's bad clout, obviously. Yes, but everything has clout. <laughs> mm-hmm. Regardless of what you do, if you're in the public eye, you're pulling clout you're from somewhere. You're trying to use something to get to wherever you want to go. It doesn't matter. Like. <laughs> So this stigma around clout <laughs> needs to be dropped because yeah. just because someone acts in BL and then they want to do something else, it doesn't does mean, mean they're disrespecting the BL community. It doesn't mean right. they simply used it as a st- like it. That's not necessarily what it means. They just maybe right. they right. decided they had an aha moment. They're like, you know, I love doing. In his case, he loved doing his art more. Maybe mm-hmm. the incident, like his accident or whatever is what pushed him further into it but who knows that could have been his true passion and right. now he's, he's able to focus on it yeah so he's now- gonna be out of coke yeah. <laughs> considering his energy his energy his injury <laughs> ah go ahead <laughs> he's gonna be out of commission for a while yeah so what he perfect he's like I can sit here and work on my art style yes. draw and y'all in the comments are like oh he like wh- what does that mean he's had this business he's literally mm-hmm. had like black daisy for i don't know how long i don't know how long his black daisy brand has been going but this man has literally had a business for like ever. even before his ship um if side note if you want to follow him on instagram um black daisy.bd is his brand um instagram he also has his art instagram which is isolated black with a v oh uh, her. And, that's, that's nice yeah isolated black you can follow him he does very like abstract concepts mm-hmm. so uh yeah but check, it, him out. check him out it's just really weird because i even saw like a weird comment um when they were like career like what other career do you have outside of being an actor and i'm like that's crazy <laughs> like that's crazy that you literally because i feel like commenters because i don't want to be like y'all because like i don't want to i'm not pointing fingers nothing but like commenters um love to like say that they're supporting but then be like this is all you can do like 
but it's like selfish it's selfish reasons because you're only right. saying that because you want this series you're not saying it because like you feel this is his best career path or he said that this mm -hmm. is really what he wanted something you're li it's all selfish reasons so it's like right. <laughs> we're not saying it's we're not saying it's bad if you like are upset or disappointed yeah, no. that the ship isn't going or that he's not going to be in a series with Ned for a while. Yeah. But what we're saying is learn your place. Just be understanding. <laughs> yeah. Be more be understanding. understanding. Learn your place as a fan. Yeah. First and foremost, that you don't control these mm -hmm. people's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, you support them and the fans are a big part of their success. Yeah. But understand that these are also human beings. Exactly. And they like want to especially as a creative because I'm a creative. I'm somebody who likes to do a lot of different things. Yeah. And so I can't put myself into one box of something. I have to like be like, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do this. I was just like, about to say like, like, it comes when you think of it like Think of it like a human, like humans, like regular friendship. Like if I was telling you, like I was doing this, but now I want to do something else. Like you just want the continued support from your friend, from your bestie. Like because he's been on this journey with us for this long. Like we fam, we fam, bam. Like was T. So now he's telling you, you know what, fam. I love doing this, but now I want to do something else. Like right. the last thing you want is for your family to come in your face and be like, what? That's stupid. Like, right. like why are you and doing honestly, that? <laughs> that's a good way to think about it because if, if you actually care about this person, yeah. even though it is very much 100 and 10% a parasocial relationship. Oh, hell yes. You, <laughs> like, if you really want to, like, think about it as a real relationship, mm -hmm. and he was in front of you, mm -hmm. and he, like you said, and came to you and said, I want to focus on my art a little bit more. Yeah. Like, I love acting, but I want to focus on my art a little bit more because I feel like I never have time for it. Yeah. Because that might be the case. Yeah. He might feel like he hasn't had time to do something else that he really, really loves. Mm -hmm. So, the fact that you could sit there in his face and say, no, no. <laughs> stay in the ship, I pay your bills, get in that series. Oh, it just sounds like being it's scolded. Crazy. Like, you're being right. scolded. Because, like, I read, I read, like, I went on the hashtag this morning, y'all, because I was like, let me just, I just want to see what else is going on, what's being said. And it's like, you right. see all, like, the the messages and all this and I know it's like trying to be cute trying to be nice trying to be sweet but like still trying to keep them in a box instead of being like you know what I support you in your future careers blah 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 it's all oh I'm gonna miss Net James oh I just want yeah. Net James and it's like yo we're not we're still not being supported <laughs> It's like you can say I want to miss Net James but then also show your support for the yeah. other people yeah and I hate it because I feel like Net is getting the... He's getting the heat, low-key. Not necessarily heat, I, but like... I don't think it's a heat. I think that what's happening is kind of weird because mm -hmm. people are basically making James out to be the bad guy. And this has nothing to do with them themselves. Yeah. Because obviously we know James and Net are like... Two peas Friends in a pod. And two peas in a pod, and they love each other, and you know they will continue to support each other, mm -hmm. just like Net went on his, you know, on his live. And oh, I felt so bad so. watching that live. <laughs> but you know what? Like, I know Net is disappointed about it, and yeah. he is upset because you know that's his friend, but he also wants to support. But I, it's kind of weird how people are kind of separating them as the good and the bad guy, and they're like. Oh, see, we're right in going after James because Net is crying on his eyes. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, no, no. he's crying. <laughs> I was like, he's crying because obviously it's something, it's a person that he holds dear mm -hmm. or it's something that he holds dear. And now like he has to move forward without this person. Anybody would yeah. be upset about that, right? Yeah. But, but then also, you hear him still supporting him. Yeah. Like he's still... 
you know, like James is going to do like great things and he's going to move forward and stuff like that. And I'm going to continue to support him. That's what y'all need. Yeah. Is to understand that people grow, people outgrow. Not everybody is in certain things for an entirety of a lifetime. Yeah. Sometimes things are seasonal. Exactly. And you grow. And if you don't, if you keep yourself in a spot, you're never going to grow. Yeah. And I, so, like, I don't want to dissect his life either because it's like, <laughs> who knows what was going on in his head who knows right. why he was crying so like in me dissecting it feels like i'm putting words in his mouth so right. it's like i feel like everybody should just take the lie for what it was like he said what it is he yeah. showed his support so mm-hmm. us saying well maybe he's crying because this or he's crying because of yeah. that and then turning into your That's own true. narrative it's like it's taking away again from like the real the real tea so it's like just take a step back just like keep it real surface like what did he say it was emotional okay he said this and that's that's what it is that's what it is and i'm gonna move on from that because it's it's low-key like the old and non situation like guys Mm -hmm. what happened happened like Right. Making all these posts, doing whatever, saying you're not going to support them separately, it really doesn't help the situation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't understand why, like, the celebrities don't block people more. Oh my God. Because <laughs> if I kept seeing that stuff, mm-hmm. everybody that was just being unnecessarily mean, yeah. like, obviously people are going to be upset, but people who are being unnecessarily mean block. Because block. my block, block is heavy. My block finger is. So quick. I don't fight anywhere. Block. (laughs) Because then, you know, the 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 peanut gallery rallies up together and like, wow, he bought me. It must be It's because I was telling the truth. It's because I no, it's because we don't want to hear you talking. (laughs) You wouldn't shut up. So like we had a block. And half the time y'all just be like saying things just to have a viral tweet. To be quite honest, because yeah. we know that Twitter, like, Ooh, pushes going out viral is a one hell of a drug lately. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's definitely rewarded on Twitter. Yeah, it's been proven that that's what Twitter wants. You yeah, because like, off, but, especially off topic, but like especially with the Lucas situation, I was oh, seeing yeah. like I was seeing tweets from the same person multiple times under the same post and I'm like y'all are really trying to get that hit tweet like this is crazy (laughs) but this is all to say that we should support Ned in his um, new pairing in the series and we should support James and his future endeavors Mm -hmm. because who knows? He could make something that pops off, and then people yeah. pick it up, and then his brand become like you know international, like mm-hmm. all of this. And then, then what are y'all gonna do? The people that were doubting him and that were scolding him, and you know, making him feel bad for this decision. Where are y'all gonna be when that I just happens? Just like him? the same way we all want support in whatever we're doing. I feel mm-hmm. like you should give that same courtesy to a celebrity. Because they're not one-dimensional characters that only do one thing. Like, for me and Jordy, we both have, like, outside of the podcast, we have reaction channels. We have Mm -hmm. other separate channels and things that we want to do that Mm -hmm. we would want our current, yeah. like, subscribers or supporters to support us there, too, and I feel like right. that's the same thing for James. Like, I may, yes, I got all of these supporters and these fans because of this BL series, but I would mm-hmm. love for them to support me in the other endeavors. Like, mm-hmm. that's all he's really right. asking. And I don't that's feel like that's too much to ask. It's bare minimum. Right. <laughs> Just support. And the, thing is, <laughs> and the thing is, neither one of them, nor Mondi, mm-hmm. um, said that it was done. Said that it was done. <laughs> yeah. Like, nobody brought up that, that he would never be in another series yeah. like that, or that he would never be in another series General, in general, yeah. That he, he would never be in another BL series. It no could one be, ever said any of that. It could be very temporary. It could be right. because of the injury and because he wants to do something to occupy his time. 
He's focusing on his art, like. Right. And to be honest, <laughs> it doesn't matter how long it takes him to no. come back. If he does come back, if he doesn't come back, it doesn't matter. Either way, we should still support him yeah. and put our best foot forward to, you know. It's his life, you know. Uplift, uplift, and rise on. Rise on. this we support y'all and y'all are gonna do big things period always i forgot (laughs) (laughs) i always feel like i'm doing it wrong (laughs) ew saran hate (laughs) he said saran hate oh (laughs) my happy Spanish. What's love got to do? Uh, uh, what is it? What is what is love in Spanish? Oh my god, it's, it's literally on the tip of my tongue. Te amo, te amo, te amo, te amo, te amo. Te amo? I think it's te amo. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we <laughs> we can shift over to like a different topic. So. Do you think that I'm scared. actors? <laughs> <laughs> what? Go say. Do you think that actors in BL specifically, because yeah. that's usually where it happens? Yeah. Do you think that actors in BL should have designated ships still, or should actors not have a ship at all, but like mm. just allow the fans to like go ship? Uh, and the reason I bring this up is because yeah. of recently, obviously, Neo, and we also have Mark, people who yeah. don't have set ships, and there's been a little bit of mm-hmm. um, conversation around, or discourse, because there is some, there's divided sides, divided fronts. No, because this why. situation is very funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> I find it hilarious. It's like, it's like there's discourse about mm-hmm. why Neo didn't get as much backlash yeah. with revealing his girlfriend as opposed to, let's say, Nui, who is in a set ship, and which I, I agree and I disagree, it, but it's also already, I think there's a different point to it, but go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's very much so. One, let me start off by saying I am very happy that mm-hmm. he was able to introduce her there wasn't no backlash like because i feel like that's how it should be for everybody mm-hmm. personally two i feel like you can have a set ship and have people go ship at the same time i feel like mm-hmm. you shouldn't be tied in a ship it's mm-hmm. like i feel like it goes both ways like i feel like it's okay to have a set ship but it's also okay to do another series with another ship and right. like you still have your set ship over here like it doesn't matter right. and still be able to go ship with that being said i do feel like the fact that he it was such an easy transition for him was because he doesn't have a set ship he's never had a set ship neo has done the thing with lewis did right. he had and only fans he had like six ships so <laughs> he did he had mark drake force Freaking book. He was eating everybody, okay? <laughs> he, was, he was eating everybody. And then, yeah. and he just had a new ship in Cooking Crush. So, and I do, like, I do feel like, not that it's necessarily unfair, but I do wish that, like, other ships could have that same freedom. Because I tweeted yeah. about this. I did say that I was, like, I feel like, People only care or they only support when it's not their favorite ship. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the fact that he does not have a ship, everybody was like, oh my God, yay! Because I promise you, if it was Force Book, if it was Off Gun, mm-hmm. if it was Hell, if it had been my Oppo, if it had been anybody, there would have been. Oh my God, he's being unfair to such and such. He should have never done that. Blah blah blah. What about that? Like, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but that's exactly what it would have been because that's what has always been. <laughs> it's like, what do y'all mean 
All right. <laughs> because it also, well, you know what? We're going to take a break because we're oh, okay. almost like at 30 minute mark. And we'll get but into I will it. give my opinion when we come. <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> goes because I did tweet and I was like I find it kind of funny uh, that Neo didn't get as much backlash but like a couple of weeks ago mm-hmm. y'all were going in on C about his potential not even confirmed yet and it girlfriend. wasn't even right. his girlfriend <laughs> it wasn't even his girlfriend but um, some people in the quotes and in the comments did have some very valid things and there's some nuances to this that I don't think a lot of people understand so obviously we can't we, regardless of if somebody has a girlfriend or boyfriend you cannot assume their sexuality right no. so people were like people were like see I knew he was straight blah 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 and I'm like who said that though <laughs> we don't know what he is yeah. okay he has a girlfriend cool mm-hmm. Her, nobody knows what he is he hasn't come out and said what he is so therefore you're we don't assuming assume. <laughs> but there were people who had um opinions about now if this happens with a straight person or like mm-hmm. what perceived to be a straight person mm-hmm. or what is perceived to be a heterosexual relationship would y'all have the same energy if one of the actors came out with their boyfriend Would it be the same energy? Would y'all support? Or would y'all be like... Speak into the mic. Take your time. Speak into the mic. (laughs) Speak into the mic. What is this rainbow sugar and gumdrops? Uh, No. Only in the series. Because we know some of y'all that's like... Y'all will love y'all love it in the series, but y'all don't love it in real life. Yeah. Speaking of... um, the bill to propose same-sex marriage in Thailand has gone to the third reading in Congress. Yay! We're getting so close. <laughs> so hopefully... Because mm-hmm. they did mention in Cherry... Ma- oh, wait. I can't say that. Never mind. I haven't said nothing. Don't worry about it. I haven't said sure it. I didn't know what's going on. But... No, 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 no. No, no, no. It had, didn't have to do with the scene. I was going to say something the director said. But I was like, never mind, because if I say that, it'll spoil something, and I don't want to spoil you, so never mind. <laughs> Is it the marriage? I don't know. <laughs> I, I know they get married. I'm like, I already know they get married. So. Well, then I guess I can say because you, because it does, well, because we all know, because... Uh, yeah. But he was saying that, like, they had shot two separate scenes. I won't tell oh. you what scene they went with, but it was, it had to do with the bill being, mm-hmm. like, hoping that it was going to be passed before Cherry Magic came out because they were going to do something. Yeah. But, yeah. But you'll oh, see. <laughs> but, but hopefully it gets so passed soon, yeah. though. Yeah, hopefully that gets yeah. passed. But... Again, would y'all have that same energy? And then Mm -hmm. there was a... What was the other thing that somebody mentioned? Somebody mentioned about the fact that, yeah, like you said, because he doesn't have a set ship, Mm -hmm. it's easier for people to understand and digest the fact that he has a significant other outside of, you know, BL or outside of series. And so this brings me to my point, and this is just what I think... I love shipping people like as much as the next person. Mm-hmm. I do feel like though we should dismantle the whole set ship type of thing. Just because anyways guys, uh if you're wondering why there was a just in case yeah. there's a cut that I can't cover up. It's and because we had a little technical difficulty. My bad. <laughs> It was my fault. <laughs> but we're back. Um, but what I was saying was mm-hmm. that I feel like we should dismantle set ships because I love seeing how people act with different yeah. people. And I feel like the ships 
create more harm than good when it comes to allowing these actors to explore to do other something. realms of acting. Yeah. Because we already have the layer of if they go outside of a ship or do something that's not BL, we have the people that are like, oh, you use the LGBTQIA plus community yeah. for quotes. You know what's funny though? I I feel like no matter what the relationship looks like, if mm-hmm. they have a set ship and they have a relationship outside of that ship, I feel like they will not be satisfied. Yeah. Like just no, being absolutely. straight up, it does not matter if it's like same sex, if it was different, mm-hmm. if it whatever. I personally feel like it does not matter because all most fans have on their brain is your shit, and that's right. it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll say that's true. I will say that it is a different level of, um, como se dice. <laughs> audacity yeah. when it comes to a homosexual relationship yeah because if it to, uh, to be completely honest and this is not trying to like you know throw shade at heterosexual couples no. but y'all are the blueprint oh so my. it's like oh my god get it out I had an eyelash go ahead okay <laughs> y'all are the blueprint so that is what society deems as right. Mm-hmm. And so if there's anything that deviates from that, then y'all are like... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. So there is definitely a different level of audacity that comes from the people on the other side of the screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think that obviously there's that layer of you're using the community. Yes. There's also Ugh. the layer, like you said, of betraying your, your person in the ship. Oh my I'm god. Like, I'm like, one, this is what y'all need to understand. <laughs> and this is coming from a homosexual male. Just because I am a guy who likes guys and I play a role with this guy in the mm. series does not Me. mean I want to be together with him because y'all don't have the same energy when it comes to a male female relationship. Y'all don't be like, oh, they're together. No. No, don't. No. Y'all think every gay guy wants every gay guy and straight guy. And y'all never That's want y'all to admit that either. <laughs> Y'all it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. And especially the audacity of straight men. They be like, "Oh, the gays want us." No, we don't. Because my thing, because my thing is, y'all like do you ass. want every? We don't want you. I'm crying. Because my thing is, do you want every female that walks past you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you want to do Anyways, but there's those two layers, and yeah. there's also. There's also the layer of cash grab. So obviously ships are cash grabs, oh, right? Yeah. Because anything outside of the series, it's in my head, it's like, what are you doing this ship for? And it leads to <laughs> oh, to keep these people invested. Mm-hmm. Let's do this little brand deal. <laughs> Let's have a little contest <laughs> to see who can raise the most money, which fan the spends most the most money. money. <laughs> but y'all don't see that. Y'all don't, y'all don't open your eyes, Trini. Open your eyes. <sighs> NCT told us to open our eyes and y'all like, open your eyes. Yeah. Anyways. Um, but Shit, so there's those three layers. Shit, maybe we should get rid of this shit because obviously we all we made points why it doesn't matter. Either they're not gonna support because all they care about is their ship, it doesn't matter what the relationship is. They're not gonna they're only gonna support if it looks a certain way. Or <laughs> what was the third reason? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And like I said before, let me reiterate, I love shipping next to the, to oh, the next person. I love person. ghost shipping. Pie and Earth are my ultimate ghost, ghost ship. Yeah. I literally ship them to this day. And yeah. We are getting what? Not even crumbs. We're getting molecules. Okay. But I understand mm. that I don't know their relationship. I don't know what's going on. Pie, for all we know, Pot could be in a relationship with a mermaid. That's more likely than him to be a relationship with anybody on out. Earth. That's what he's always <laughs> So, <laughs> like, oh, my, my thing is, my thing is, 
if if it's just if it's just about yeah. the ghost shipping, right? Yeah. If it's just about the ghost shipping, then why do we need set ships? Yeah. If it's just about just seeing them together, I mean, obviously they're gonna be together anyway. If it's just about the ghost shipping, why do we need these announcements from these actors? Like, why right. can't it just be a thing? Why do they have to apologize <laughs> if it wasn't what we thought it was gonna be? If it's just right. ghost shipping. If if we all understand that shipping is pretend, because everybody says they understand, because <laughs> everybody says they understand, right. then I'm like otherwise. there's no need for ships to ever for anybody to ever apologize for having a relationship right. for there to ever be an announcement. <laughs> and plus, and this is just a little bonus bullet point. I feel like when when there is a ship and they are successful and they turn out not to be madly in love with each other. There's so much pressure coming from the fans that it ends up ruining their relationship between each other because it's like, for instance, if me and Alyssa, like, oh my God, if I was straight and me and Alyssa was in a relationship, right? And seem to be in a relationship, yeah. right? And people found out that Alyssa is in a whole marriage. And then, like, they're like, oh my god, you betrayed You betrayed him. And it's like, it's like, we're obviously, it's like, obviously, we are really, 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 really good friends. Yeah. So, we understand that. But, I won't say that we're perfect human beings. So, honestly, comments will probably make me feel some type of way. I'm like, like, and I would like I'm human so stuff does get to me and so obviously that will put a strain on our our, yeah. our relationship because we're, we're both stressed about what y'all goo goo baba heads are like talking about in the comments but you know listen cause the rumors it's, the rumor mill has stressed out actors before I will not name drop or go into tea cause that's old 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 tea but Rumors have stressed out certain ships before that we don't have any longer. Just right. to leave that there. Because <laughs> it's like when these when these rumors and these things happen, mm-hmm. especially if you're in the public eye, yeah, you have to act differently in public. You have to move differently in public in yeah. order to remedy the situation, and that causes stress. So much stress. So you know, down with the ships. Hashtag. <laughs> Oh my god, we're like, we're turning into like, and I kind of lives a gossip slash review podcast, and I live for it. Okay. Because <laughs> I feel like we're going to tell the tea. We're going to give you the tea. Yeah, we, honestly. <laughs> and give our honest opinions. When, yeah, when me and Alyssa were like cultivating yeah. this podcast, we, one thing that we said that we would always do is actually talk about issues within the BL community mm-hmm. and not just for the sake of you know looking pristine yeah abandoning the what we feel like is important especially coming from a woman yeah and a gay man yeah. and both of us also being black people yeah. black american people yeah enjoying bl so there's a there's a lot of intersectionality here and <laughs> and we wanted to be book. authentic yeah, a shameless it. plug. If you haven't seen our conversation on Drama Llama about being black yeah, and she intersectionality, check it out. right? <laughs> intersectionality in go BL, watch it. you should check, go watch it. There were some yeah. good conversations. Um, but we don't want there to ever be a question whether or not we are faking something mm-hmm. or we are trying to like kiss any ass We're just to get kiss any peaches like, just, <laughs> right kiss any peaches yeah just to get you know get some interview or mm-hmm. get something also before y'all even start this is not throwing shade at anybody but we're just wanting to say that we are going to tell you how we feel about a certain situation. Yeah, I'm always going to say how I feel, whether people agree with me or not, whether you like how I said it or not. (laughs) 
I always, like, we're never gonna be rude or say anything right. like out of pocket. But I always right. want to be my I mean, genuine. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, let's be real, that's me. But <laughs> I'm always, I'm always out of pocket. But yeah. I always want to remain genuine and authentic to how I feel about mm-hmm. certain things um, because I do feel like some people don't know their place sometimes I do feel like certain mm-hmm. things are only a certain way because XYZ or like yeah. certain people are involved and yeah like I'll never sugarcoat how I feel yeah. you know we'll definitely <laughs> be very upfront and transparent we, I feel like emotions and opinions are multi-level yes so let's say we didn't agree if y'all ever see that we didn't agree with something an actor did and then see us interview them right after, just know that we still feel the same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we probably like the work that they were in. So, so I liked your work. <laughs> you know, I liked your work. Don't agree with what you did over here. No, but, but guess I liked what your work. <laughs> right. Guess what? We are human beings and feelings and emotion aren't linear. Her kids. So, anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. That. That's it. Went like kind of on a tangent. That's fine. That's, We're probably going to do it That's pretty much <laughs> right. That's pretty much our our stance on the whole like James Net mm-hmm. Net James situation. I wish them the best. And, uh, yes, wish them the best. Mm-hmm. Hope that they are successful in their future endeavors. Yeah. Um, and yeah. No more tears. Happy smiles from here on out. Because I don't like seeing him cry. That made me sad. I want him to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> no, sad. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. He cries so pretty though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, but... on his live, on his live, when I was watching his yeah. live, I was like, <laughs> but also. Like, I was like, he's a like, slay. <laughs> you're a pretty choir. The face cart never declines. <laughs> but no, no James. I just like, oh god. I just wish them both the best, happiness, healthiness, mm. and whatever they decide to do. If Nat continues with the series and he gets a new pair, I hope that that goes well. Same with James and his art. I mm. hope it all goes well. Like no matter yeah. what, all the actors, celebrities, wherever you are, I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Sure. Sure. The best. Mm-hmm. Wait, this mm-hmm. song. This What's song this? that goes with that word. Oh, oh my god! You the best by um Drake, Mr. Audrey. Uh, you the you the Aubrey, best. Aubrey. You the you the best. Best I ever had. Best I ever had. Best I ever had. Best I ever had. Best I ever That was my jam. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that's, it. Um, that's it, guys. Make sure you follow us on all of our social medias. Mm-hmm. Make sure you retweet, repost, post on your story. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. You know? And follow us here if you're not already. Make sure you put that bell notification so you know each and every time we upload. We upload every Wednesday. Her. And yeah, make sure you um go oh, check out Rama Lama. Um, <laughs> We hit our Kickstarter goal. Actually, we surpassed our Kickstarter goal. Um, we w- and most of that is due to the hard work of obviously everybody in the company, but also our CEO. He did a sixty-plus hour straight live stream. Did that thing? So he actually no, it wasn't sixty-plus hours. Was it six? No, yeah, it was sixty hours. Hours, I think. Anyways, he live streamed for a long time and watched a lot of shows. And we exceeded our Kickstarter goal by almost double. Here, no, pretty much double plus some. So the Drama Llama app is on its way. So make sure you support. Um, go into the description and check out the channels. Make sure you follow Drama Llama on Twitter, mm-hmm. Instagram, and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Follow us individually on all of our social media, and we will see you guys in the next video. Get out. Bye. Or the next podcast or whatever. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Get out. Exit the chat. <laughs>